Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the coin kitchen. My name is Funky Little Fork and in this series on this channel my goal is to help people make as tastiest as possible food for the lowest price possible. Basically I was a student until not too long ago and I know the hardships of student life. I know living on ramen and I decided to myself that maybe with my experience I can help you find or make some foods that are both delicious and cheap without spending too much money. So today the first thing that we're gonna cook is gonna be something called a potato tortilla. At least that's how I call it. Basically all we need is two potatoes, two medium large size potato, I don't know how you call this, I would call them medium and a piece of bacon or if you're vegetarian you can also use a piece of cheese. We're gonna start by peeling the potatoes and putting them in cold water. Then we're gonna lay out the bacon on a cutting board and we're gonna try to interneat it so we can make like a small carpet or mesh of bacon. We do this because we don't want the potatoes to uh, start oxidizing after we shred them. So we're gonna leave the potato shredding last. The next step that we're gonna take after kneading the bacon is gonna be to start uh, shredding our potatoes into small bits, something about an inch long or about two centimeters long, one and a half centimeters long, around that point. After uh, we uh, uh, grate the potatoes, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put some oil to heat in a medium sized pan. As the oil heats, we're gonna lower the temperature at the medium low and we're gonna start putting a layer of potatoes, something about a centimeter thick, maybe half an inch, I think, in American units. This is gonna make a nice bottom layer for our potato and bacon tortilla. We wait a little bit for uh, uh, the potato to start cooking in the oil. And after that, we take our well knitted bacon and we're gonna lay it on top of the uh, layer of potato because we want it to start cooking slowly and to steam and to release all that grease and nice juices. After we put the bacon, my advice would be to put a bit of salt as well just because, well, bacon is salty enough but just in case it's not to your taste, now would be the time to add some extra salt, if you want, of course. And then we're gonna on top of everything, on top of the potato layer and the bacon layer, we're just going to add a final layer of potato and we're going to press with a spatula, with a big spoon, whatever you have. We want to make it tight, something like a pancake almost. And we're going to leave it. Constantly we're going to check underneath the, the potato tortilla to see if the bottom side starts crisping. Once it starts crisping and gaining that golden brown color, we're gonna take a second pan and we're gonna uh, carefully, with some good ninja moves, twist it and turn the, uh, the potato tortilla from one pan to another. And we're gonna continue cooking with that second pan. If you want, you may add a little bit of extra oil and just move it around so your uh, potato tortilla doesn't stick to the second pan. And other than that it's very simple, we're just gonna wait until this side is also properly cooked and the bacon inside should be steaming and releasing all those fats and good juices. Keep in mind, you can do the same with cheese, I would recommend mozzarella or cheddar, those are very good. Mozzarella becomes very uh, elastic and cheddar is actually very good to stick the potato layers together. 
Anyway, returning to our one, the bacon. After it's done, we're just gonna gently, gently swing it from the pan into a plate. Okay guys, the food is ready. Here it is, a nice potato tortilla with some bacon inside. I can't wait to open it up to show it to you guys. And uh, actually, why are we waiting? Let's get into it. Let's, uh, let's see how it looks. And trust me, it will look even better if you also add cheese to it, not only the bacon. So let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this beauty. Honestly, can't wait to dig into it. The potatoes are nice and crunchy on the outside and steamed on the inside. And the bacon just adds that meaty pork flavor to it. Salty as it should be, but of course everyone has their own salt. Anyway, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you will enjoy uh, my recipe if you decide to make it. And if you like it, please give us a like and a, a subscribe and uh, I'll come back to you with another video as soon as possible.